<laughs> Good morning, guys. Your boy TOJ. Uh, I may do a quick response video to what's going on in Florida and the stand your ground law. And if you are not familiar with Trayvon Martin, then this is your first introduction to, I guess, the stand your ground controversy because this this is not the first time stand your ground was used in in the the court of public opinion. But I think now, you know, with the advent of Trump and people doing all this marching. I think now it's time that people are a lot more socially conscious and a lot more physically active as far as them, you know, looking to get certain laws abolished. And I think, you know, unfortunately, another body had to drop before we um, understood how dangerous certain laws are and that they could be utilized to take human life under the auspices of fear and self-defense. So let me start off by saying this. We had a case down here maybe a year ago uh, the guy got convicted i think he got manslaughter it was the joe mcknight case and the guy used now we don't have stand your ground in louisiana i don't know what we call it but a car is an extension of your home but the guy who shot joe mcknight was a former football player who got i don't know if him and both him and the guy both was at each other's neck and they both driving in and out of traffic they weaving in and out of traffic at each, cut, cut, basically cutting each other off and they got down to the bottom of the bridge and I guess Joe McKnight got out of his car and approached the guy who shot him and killed him and the guy said well look here and I, fe I feared for my life but come to find out when police did the investigation the, the guy had a history of uh, violence and he had a history of road rage incidents where he actually you know brandished his weapon and this time it, it landed a conviction now, the guy who shot this gentleman in Florida had the exact same history. He had a history of violence, a history of racist, you know, uh, incidents. And he finally got his chance to utilize the, you know, stand your ground law and take somebody's life. And in both cases, really in all three cases, the death of all three men could have been avoided. Uh, Trayvon Martin, in his case, the uh, 911 operator said, stand down. Leave the boy alone. The cops are already on their way. Don't be, you know, a hero and go chase the dude down. You know, fuck that shit. These guys, they always get away with it. I, I, I'm going to go do it. And it wound up being where, you know, I guess Trayvon supposedly got on top of George Zimmerman and beat, his, beat him within an inch of his life. And he had to, you know, take, he had to kill him. And in the case of this guy in Florida, all he did was just push the old man on the ground and start, when a man, when a man pulled out a gun, of course, the dude was like, I can't, whoop, I can't whoop a bullet's ass. I can't fight a bullet. So he started backing up, and the man still shot him. Now, in gun class, they teach you to say stuff like, well, I kept on firing until I felt the threat was neutralized. It's some kind of legal, you know, legalese jargon that you can use to not say I, I killed this black ass. But unfortunately, every stand your ground law case has always been unfortunately a black male. And somebody's got to say it. And usually when you have a conversation like this, you always hear a president or a civic leader or any kind of political leader always say the nation needs a discussion on race. And then once somebody has a discussion on race, you become a race baiter. So unfortunately, we'll never have a discussion unless somebody like myself or anybody who has something to lose, you know, is bold enough to actually say what everybody else is thinking, but is too afraid to say in public. Anyway, that's my thoughts and my opinions on this situation, man. Unfortunately, um... The SJWs are finally marching for a cause that actually means something. Something that can get a law taken off a book that can end a human life. And they can march for drug tests and police officers that even be better. But anyway, guys, hit like, share, and subscribe, and I'm out of here.